Hello everyone and welcome back to 100 videos about SEO. Today is day 16 of 100 and I'm going to be answering a question I get a lot on my SEO coaching sessions and here on the channel about content creation and which type of content works best for SEO and driving more traffic to your website. Long form content or short form content? So this question this question comes up a lot and the reality is it's a very, very difficult question to answer without understanding context. Short form content on its own can play a role as well as long form content on its own can play a role. And they can also work together. So it really is going to be sensitive to your context or your market and most importantly, your current uh, SEO marketing strategy. But first, let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of short form content and then we'll talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of long form. So first of all, some of the advantages is long form content clearly helps you get more keywords onto your website. So it's like the practical obvious answer is that you know more long form content you create, the more rich and more authoritiveness your content should be. Therefore, you probably will most likely get indexed with more keywords. It also gives you more room to go in depth and you know provide uh, thought leadership, in depth analysis, and that's you know technically speaking, that's good. At, that's good for providing more authority, acquiring more backlinks, and obviously hopefully converting your readers into leads or into prospects or customers. And also, it will contribute to your you might say the semantic map of your website and the content and the topics that you want to rank for. Now, long form content is unfortunately tedious to create. If you use AI to create this without the right framework, or you might say uh, the right supervision, it's probably gonna be trash content or, or gibberish. Uh, it generally needs maintenance, which means that like every six months or every quarter, you're gonna have to have somebody making sure that content is up to date and you know there is additional, uh, any updates have been, have been created uh, need to be added to that. And generally speaking, long form content isn't always easy to digest. And the data shows that unless you have a really highly engaged audience. It's difficult for people to spend more than a minute and a half reading your blogs. So if you go on average of a minute and a half, 90 seconds to max two minutes, you can more or less get an idea as to how long your content should be for your audience. This doesn't mean you can't create a long form piece of content and people uh, won't read it. But the reality is it's harder for people to digest, less likely to spend uh, a decent amount of time on your website and therefore less engaged. But again, the long form content does play a role in a strategy as well as short form. Now regarding short form, high, high level advantages, it's very quick to produce, it generally can be very targeted. So you have like a very long tail keyword, you can go after that keyword, answer it in you know, 500 to 700 words, and then you can kind of move on with the next piece. It also means you can create more articles, which technically speaking again, does lead to more keyword visibility because you have more index URLs, more index pieces of content. And each piece of content can have a unique intent or the, a unique search term that it's going after or focus keyword. Now, some of the disadvantages, often it's gonna lack scope for you know, technical density and actually responding to a query and providing value. Sometimes it means that you will miss out on areas to uh, create value proposition around your brand or your services or move them further down the funnel. And also, short form content is less likely to attract links. So you're gonna ask me, which one should I choose? I've got one option, which should I choose today? Like currently, today I would go with short form because I feel it would be easier for me to manage. And it would also mean that I could find those long tail keywords and just create content around those long tail keywords that are really specific. Now, short form content without in-depth content on your website and just like loosely creating short form content isn't going to perform well. But I think the days of like really long form content, like 3,000, 4,000 words are over unless it is part of a strategy where you are wanting to provide value on a topic and you need to have that elaborated long form piece of content. My recommendation for today and age is if you had to choose between the two, I would go short form, but for a consolidated marketing content marketing strategy and to maximize your SEO, the SEO opportunities that you could have in your industry, you really need a combination of both. You'll have some topics that will be very well responded to in short form. You have some topics that will be really well responded or can perform very well with long form. So it is really down to, if your decision is one or the other, then yes, I would go short form. But if you can, I would like to combine long form with short form. And often you can create one long form piece of content and you can actually fraction off 
multiple short forms that have their own unique intent and keyword, but kind of link back to that pillar page or that long form piece of content. So that's the video for today, uh, long form versus short form. Again, it's a bit of a pickle to decipher. And uh, again, there is, there is no, no right and wrong in choosing one over the other, but I feel that with where the, where the state of things are at in search and how search is performing and how long people spend on average on a site, I would go with high value, short form content, focus on hyper specific long tail keywords without detracting from making sure that you're semantically overlapping all of the topics or areas that you want to be an influence and authority. And as I always say, you can't be an authority in some in a specific subject or a silo of a subject without defining the subject. It's a bit like providing an introduction to a conversation. So I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions or ideas for any other pieces of content, uh, please drop them in the comments and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.